Well, this man certainly has a job that is safe. He takes us out and about each and every morning, Monday through Friday, to some great places. And today he is in Daytona Beach and he's doing a little car shopping. John, are you kicking the tires or hey, what? Hey, hey, check this out. Can you tell a car I'm in? That's the Batmobile. It's the Batmobile. Just one of the, hang on, where'd you guys go? Hang on, I gotta look at the back. <laughs> it's just one of dozens of cars that got here at the Classics Auto Museum in uh, Daytona Beach. We're gonna be showing them all. They got they got Knight Rider, they got uh, the Flintstones, they got Dragula, plus, of course, some other just classic cars like the 999,999th Corvette to come off the assembly line. There you guys are. So come on back. Now, one thing I don't think Batman had to do, I had to take my shoes off before they let me yeah. sit in here. Okay, does that have the ejector seat that works? Uh, I'm afraid. There's all these buttons. <laughs> There's the bat ray projector, the yeah. detectoscope. Oh, wait, look, look, and the bat phone. Hey, he's having fun. He's John Graham. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, Commissioner. Okay. <laughs> Commissioner you guys. Gordon. Yes, okay. Uh, and John is. All right, Jessica, thank you very much. Well, a lot of the cars out there on those roads aren't moving very quickly. And they're not moving at all where John Graham is today. Yeah, that's right. That's because John Graham is live this morning at the Classics Auto Museum at Daytona Beach. And they have everything from Corvettes to the Batmobile. Hey, hey, oh, sorry, Commissioner. I got to go. We're on TV again. <laughs> Bat phone. Hey, and John, that's cool. Okay, I'll, I'll catch up with you in just a second. Okay, thanks. Yeah, we're, we're here at the uh, Classics Auto Museum in Daytona Beach. I've got John here with me. John, what, what should I describe your, your, your... Here, come over here so everybody can see your sure. smiling face. Uh, what should I say? What is your duties here? What do you do here? I'm uh, what they call the daily operation manager. And you're the guy who keeps people from me, like, from getting, like, thumbprints <laughs> on the Batmobile. Right, right, yeah, that's it, yep. How many cars do you have here? We'll talk about the Batmobile in just a second. We have approximately 100 to uh, 110 different cars and motorcycles at all times. you got, you got some movie stuff, some TV oh, yeah. stuff, but then you've got some other other stuff that's just you know more traditional just customized yeah. it keeps moving on us customized cars <laughs> yeah we have uh, muscle cars classic cars Winston Cup race cars uh, a great selection of motorcycles all types uh, uh, a bunch of Indian motorcycles mm -hmm. uh, so it's really nice, uh, along with our movie cars. Yeah, now, have. you kids out there, this, of course, this isn't that uh, Michael Keaton or uh, George Clooney. This is, this is the Adam West Batman, the TV yes, series here. Yep. This was actually in the show, huh? Yep. Yes, it was. This was not, uh, they made five of the Batmobiles like this, and this is the fifth one made. Wow. Uh, but it is a, a real movie car, one that they had used. I was disappointed. None of the buttons actually work, though, right? Uh, it's that TV trickery. I would know nothing about TV trickery. <laughs> TV trickery. Yeah. <laughs> The ejector, ejector seats don't work, any of that kind of stuff, but it, it is a running car. Last time you had drive-in was about, what, about two years ago? Yeah, probably two years ago we had it out on the road. It, it, they don't do it very often because John himself personally had to lift the car up on this spinning platform. So it's a Classics Auto Museum in Daytona Beach. We're going to be here throughout the show. Uh, for you ladies out there, oh, this is cool. I can get my exercise. For you ladies out there, a uh, big fan of the movie Grease, mm -hmm. uh, Grease Lightning is here. You're kidding, really? We'll take you back and maybe show you some more of the movie cars. Whoa, you didn't see that, John. I didn't touch the Batmobile <laughs> in just a little bit. All right, John, he's going to go change into his grease get up and go grease lightning, burning down the quarter mile. There you go. <laughs> All right. Hey, some folks call it karma, the Tampa Bay Buccaneer. John Graham is off the street, but he's in all kinds of crazy cars today. Yeah, he's driving uh, real fast, or at least pretending to do hey, that. Go, go Grease, Grease Lightning! Lightning da, 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 da. I don't know, I didn't see mile. the movie. Thank you very much. I didn't see the movie but once. Uh, we're <laughs> hanging out at the Classics Auto Museum in Daytona Beach. Grease Lightning is here. Dragula is here. The Flintstones car is here. We're going to show you them all in just a second on Good Day Orlando. You're watching, Good Day, you're watching Good Day Orlando here on Fox 35. I'm John Graham. We're hanging out today at the Classics Auto Museum in Daytona Beach. This is Grease Lightning. Now, some cars they've got here on display, they've got a bunch of movie cars and then just a bunch of uh, cool classic cars. We're going to be showing you those throughout the show, too. Sometimes they make a bunch of them, like they made at least five Batmobiles for the TV show. This is the only Grease Lightning that was made for the movie. Isn't that right, John? Come on in here. Yes, it is, John. Uh, that's the only one that they made. We're very fortunate to have the car. We bought it from George Bears mm -hmm. uh, in California that made it. and. Uh, it's a big attraction here. It uh, draws a lot of people here to our attraction. So this is the one John Travolta's feet have been all over this because in the movie, you know, they're dancing and yeah, you won't let me jump up and, on the uh, car, no, will you? No, no jumping on the car. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, and Olivia Newton-John 
of course, sat in that car also. You know, mm-hmm. so. That's the part you remember, too, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I, I remember that. You want to walk along some more cars here and show people sure, some more? Exactly. Now, that, right behind okay. the camera there, we've got a Flintstones from the Flintstones movie, my producer Kim said. That's not the one from the cartoon, is it? I said, no, because then it'd just be a little piece of paper. Exactly, yep. Mm-hmm. This is the one that, uh, that John Goodman uh, mm-hmm. made in the movies, yeah. and uh, it's kind of neat. Uh, uh, there again, this is the kids. This is the only car that we really like to let people and their kids sit in and oh, take Oh, I can do that if I was you, doing You could be Fred today if Where, you want. Come, come in here just for a second. I didn't know that. The other ones, he's been nice in letting me sit in. He said, take your shoes off and stuff. I could, I can sit in here. This is cool. I got the Flintstones mobile. Now, here, come over here just for a second. My arm and the microphone only reach so far. Uh, this car and the other one, a lot of the uh, ones that are made for TV shows and movies are made by George Barris. Correct, yeah. Tell, tell people about George Barris because that's he got started doing this in the 70s. Just oh. any, any fancy car you saw on TV, odds were pretty good he built it. Exactly right. Yeah, George is probably the most famous uh, car builder uh, in the country, I would think. Mm -hmm. He's built cars for all the movie stars and whomever, uh, and naturally most of the the, the movie cars Mm -hmm. that are there. I got to show them one more. Are you ready? We're going over to the Munsters. Guys, which car? They, there are two Munsters cars. Do you remember back there at the station what the Munsters cars were? Oh, of uh, course. Yeah, yeah, that one right there. What's that one? That's the student. Uh, the, the, the there was the Munster Mobile. The Munster Mobile. And this that's is not the, the Munster Mobile. Uh, that's the other one. This is the other one. This is Dragula. Oh, Dragula. 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 Okay. Grandpapa drove this one, didn't he? Yep. Grandpa. This is the one that Grandpa uh, drove. Uh, 90 miles an hour, better it looked like. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, it looked like he drove that fast. Probably not really that fast, right? I wouldn't imagine, so I don't think you could control it really. Sure. That well, here, should we give them, we're, we're almost out of time, but I'm going to give people a little behind the scenes here. I don't know if we can, can you see inside there where the controls are? Okay, right where your behind goes, that's where the axle is. Uh-huh. So that would get really hot if you were going 90 miles an hour. So yeah, I don't think did, he actually did that too much. I think that was, I think it was TV special <laughs> effects and trickery. So come on back. We're going to be showing you. I think we'll show you some of the some of the cars that have not been on TV, but will be in just a few minutes. John, you're having all kinds of fun out oh, there. Man. We are too. This is great. Ooh, this, this is cool, cool here. stuff, man. Daytona we, Beach, come see it. All righty, sir. Thank you very much. Of course, Eddie Munster was on the show, and we think that we had Grandpa. Probably about a year ago, I think he came through town. And we I talked know. to him. But first, let's go out and talk to John Graham. He is live. He is in mint condition, and he's actually doing a little polishing this morning. Hey, John. Hey there. Yeah, we're live at the Classics Auto Museum in Daytona Beach. It's Kit from Knight Rider. I'm going to blow a little TV magic. Come on in here and look. When Kit drives himself around without a without a pat, without a driver, look. The guy's hiding right back there. Looks, oh. right, looks right through the view. Look, there's a hole right there. He can look through. Hey, that's so, cool. So we'll show you more around Classics Auto Museum just ahead of Good Day Orlando. All right, thank you very much, sir. Hey, also very much, sir. Well, chances are, if you watch television in the 70s or even in the 80s, John Graham is putting his hands on the car that you only got to see on television. He's live at Classics Auto Museum. He's checking out the chrome and the rubber. And what have you got now? Well, they don't have just the famous cars or the famous cars from TV uh-huh. and movies. They have just really cool cars here. It's, it's a car lover's paradise. Gee, can you guess what number Corvette this was in the manufacturing process? Uh, I would say a million, but I'd be wrong, right? Yeah, no, they kept the millionth one. at the Cor- They have a Corvette museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky, which is not far from where they're made. They kept that one, but this one got auctioned off to raise money for charity. And believe it or not, it's for sale. That's one of the cool things about this museum. You know, you go to some museums, and they just everything's in glass boxes. And here, you know, they encourage you to keep your hands off and not jump over the... Uh, the uh, thing like that's the technical museum term thing quit walking away from me John come on over here I'm chasing him down the hallway uh, you can buy some of these cars yes you can yep uh, majority of the cars are for sale in mm-hmm. here uh, a lot of them are private owned cars we keep them for a period of time mm-hmm. and then we uh, switch them out and get other cars in sure. here to sort of keep the attraction fresh we like to uh, make sure when somebody comes back time and time again mm-hmm. that they see another selection of cars. Now this one's an eye catcher. I know nothing about cars and I can tell a lot of work went into the oh. paint job on this thing. Unbelievable, yeah. This is uh, probably one of the one of the finest uh, Mercuries in the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just unbelievable, the paint and, and the bodywork on this car. It's that's just deep. flawless. It's, it's a, not, well, it was a 1950 Mercury, but Correct. it's been, yeah. let's see, it looks uh, like it's been lowered, and what else has been done uh, to this it's baby? It's been everything. The top's been chopped on. It's been made into a two-door hard top. Uh, it's got that tremendous paint job on that everybody, this is probably one of the most popular cars in, in our attraction mm-hmm. is the uh, is this Mercury here. You have to have somebody handy with a rag to wipe the drool oh. when all the like 35, 40 year old guys, oh <laughs> man, oh. oh. Yeah. And this has got the ghost flames where you can see them one way and you can't see them the other. So mm-hmm. it's it's just, uh, 
It's just probably one of the nicest cars, I think, in the in the attraction. Now, now you're usually not open this early. What, you open it about 9? 9 o'clock. Every day we're here, every day but Christmas, we're here from 9 to 6. And what, what's it cost to get in? Uh, $8.50 plus tax for mm -hmm. adults, uh, kids 7 to 12, half price. And they, they've even got like a little ice cream parlor out front. But uh, the, you keep the ice cream out there, right? You don't bring them in with the cars. Exactly. And, and if anybody would like, they like this Mercury so well, we had to put on some T-shirts, and they can buy oh, some T-shirts in their right gift there. shop. Oh, look, right there. There you go. You can't have this car, but you can have the T-shirt. There you go. Classics Auto Attraction. Hey, John, that looks great. Uh, Appreciate that. Those are some great well, cars. Bye. We'll talk to you. John wants to keep talking. We'll, we'll oh, see okay. you guys in the next half hour. Well, <laughs> okay. We'll let you talk again in the next half hour. No okay. problem. Keep showing us cool cars. You can talk all you want. Hey, let's move ahead. You know, it's a fact if you are. All right. Hey, John Graham was, was around 10. back in 1985. John Graham is out and about having some fun, showing us some pretty cool cars. Hey. Hey, John. Hey, I'm just hanging out. Me and my friend Chumley here. I didn't at, recognize at you. At Classics Auto Museum in Daytona <laughs> Beach. This is a 1970. I could tell you lots of important stuff about how rare it is, but I just go, wow, look at all the shiny metal. So mm -hmm. come on back. More in just a bit from Classics Auto Museum just ahead on Good Day Orlando. Gotcha. I just realized I'm still wearing the glasses. I better take those off. Oh. I just realized, like, people are going, who's that? It's Clark Kent, right? Yeah, and now I'm yeah. Superman. We're hanging out at the Classics Auto Museum in Daytona Beach this morning. Uh, about a, more than 100 cars out here. Cool ones to look at, like you guys were saying, from, oh, say, Batman or uh, what else? We got the Flintstones, Mobile, Munsters. And then what we're hanging out right now is I guess this would be kind of like the equivalent of a drive-in theater, except the cars are already here, John. That's it. Everything but the popcorn. Hey, can I get popcorn? No popcorn. No, because it, it get greasy fingerprints on the cars. Explain these seats we're sitting in here. Right now we're watching Blues Brothers 2000. Yeah, these seats are just look like the uh, like you're sitting in a Corvette. Mm -hmm. And because uh, we originated the attraction here one time as uh, the largest single Corvette collection in the country, mm -hmm. so we had this as as a uh, a real attraction here. Everybody everybody really likes the way this is laid out. Everybody would like to buy these seats to take home for their game room. Because these are made out of the back ends of Corvettes, right? Yes, uh -huh. they made a mold for them. Gotcha, gotcha. And right over there, since we're watching Blues Brothers 2000, you got one of the surviving cars from the movie, right? Yes, we have. Yep. Not, not too many of them made it. If I'm reading the sign right, they built 18 of these, 18 of these fake police cars for the movie Blues Brothers 2000, and they cracked up all but seven of them, and you got one of them here. Yes, we do. Uh, and I'll tell you what, at the, the mannequins inside, I don't know if you can <laughs> notice even the little guy in the back sure. seat. Yeah, I think John Goodman's lost a little weight in there, hasn't he? <laughs> yes, he has. Now, uh, oh, let's see. What do you say? I don't know if we got time for the very end of the show, but uh, we, we might try to. Let me. Let Goose, my photographer, look. Go over here, Goose. Go, so what do you think? Think we can make it back down to the lobby in the ice cream parlor by the end of the show? Or is that going to be pushing it? No, you. So that, so that'd be a no, right? No. Okay, so maybe we'll just show you another car. They've got an ice cream parlor up front. You know, huge gift shop and all that, and you can actually buy some of the cars, too. So more from Classics Auto Museum in just a little bit, but not the ice cream shop. I overreached. You, you overreached and probably overate this morning, too. John Graham, thank you very much. Hey, the uh, PGA convention is uh, coming to town. And pleasure, as I finish this, we're going to go out and talk to John Graham, who is uh, with some pretty cool cars, a little wine, and a couple of fine automobiles. Sounds good. There he is. What the heck is that? He'll explain it all when we come back. Like I said, the little thing we like to call the sunshine, returning mm -hmm. today. Thank goodness. Hey, on John Graham on. is, uh, no, John, she's not real. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on TV, baby. Come on. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, Classic, excuse me just a second, Classics Auto Museum in Daytona Beach where we've been hanging out today. From, from Orlando, just uh, I-4 to exit 57, and then just right follow the signs. You're right there. You can see cool cars like this one. Hey, wow. thank you very much, sir. This is probably one of my favorite live shots he's done.